In this video tutorial, we're going to learn about one of the most important things in the PHP language, something called PHP sessions. So what exactly are PHP sessions? Essentially, a PHP session is a mechanism built into the language that allows you to track information about a particular user visiting your PHP pages. So what exactly does that mean? That means that the web is stateless, meaning that stateless is a, a nerd's term that you see in dynamic web page programming. It's used quite a bit in many different languages. Well, web, web programming languages, that is. And what it describes is that the, the internet, the web rather, is designed in such a way that th there's no continuous communication between the, uh, the user, the client computer, and the server computer. There's no way for the server to know whether or not uh, the client making a request for a particular page has made a request for another page before. I hope this is making sense to you guys. See, you see, typically when people were designing client server programs or applications, when the, when the client would make a request for a particular document or a particular piece of information from the server, the server automatically knew who was making that request because there was a continuous connection between the client and the server. If you recall in the very first video where I described the whole process of the server serving out web pages and dynamic pages, you'll remember that once the server sends out a page that's requested by some client, the server cuts off the connection. So the connection is open. You, you open the connection by actually clicking on the link. So I'm, when I click on this link, I open the connection. I basically say, send me this page. And in this case, this, this, is, uh, this was, uh, if you look at the bottom bar here, php-objects dash page dash one dot php. So when I click on this, I'm sending a request to their server, send me this page. So the server gets this request and then sends the page back to me. See, now I got the page here. I've loaded up the page. And once the page is sent, the connection between the server and the client are closed. If you have a page like a PHP project, like a shopping cart system, for instance, where you needed to track what products people are purchasing, the stateless nature of the internet or of the web rather makes this difficult. There are a few ways that uh, smart nerds have gotten around this stateless nature of the web. And I'm not going to get into all the different ways because frankly, session, the session mechanism is probably the most efficient. And I think actually, I'm pretty sure that Microsoft invented session, and I could be wrong about this, but it was the first time I saw session was with ASP active server pages, which predates PHP by a year or two, I believe. Anyhow, sessions makes it stupid easy for you to basically tag somebody and session uses cookies sometimes. And that's probably the most efficient way. So to basically upload a cookie to the guy's browser with an ID, a unique ID that the uh, PHP session mechanism generates. And then whenever the same user hits another site within your PHP site and you're tracking session, you've enabled the session mechanism. Uh, PHP will know, oh, this guy's been here before because they'll see the unique ID in the cookie. There are other ways that PHP sessions can tag the user with that unique ID, and we'll get into that when we actually get into sessions. I think I've gone a little bit too far in the nerd details already, so let's actually get into some PHP pages, and we'll actually use session in a very simple way, but you're also going to see quickly how powerful PHP sessions are and why I believe, well, why anybody recognizes that PHP sessions are amongst the you know, top five most important things in the PHP language.